I've got a lovely little table here full of shakers that we used on our album. I'm going to give you a little tour because I'm a bit of a shaker geek. Now this is a fairly standard shaker, just a canister shaker, um, full of beads or some other small granular substance that just makes a percussive sound when it strikes either side of the shaker. So it's an interesting instrument because it plays on the front swing and the back swing. And if you play evenly, you'll get an even rhythm. And if you make the front swing longer than the back swing, you can have a swung rhythm. And that's the typical approach to this instrument. On our album, um, I actually used this shaker less rhythmically and more atmospherically just to create some different sounds in the background of the flute solo. Just a little shake roll like that. Another shaker that I used on the album atmospherically is the Pod Rattles. Uh, this was also on the track Tango Etude number three. These pod rattles are made out of dried out seed pods from plants. Let me create this really beautiful sound. There are several parts in that track um, where I have the seed pods hanging from a cymbal stand so I can reach out quickly and just give one sharp attack. Like that. So that one's kind of used mostly atmospherically, but a little bit rhythmically as well. Now to a really special instrument. Uh, this is the LP Cyclone Shaker, and it is a clear plastic circle uh, full of little metal ball bearings. So it can be played as a shaker, uh, just by shaking the ball bearings within. You can also flick it like a frisbee, but without letting go of it. And you get this really cool sound of all the ball bearings running around in a circle inside this sphere. And it's really cool because it's a shaker that can sustain a long note. Even once you've initiated it, you can just set it down and it will continue playing the long note. You've seen with the other shakers, in order to make a long sound, I've had to shake continuously. I can set that down and go for a coffee break. It's good. Finally, another LP invention. These mini shakers are called finger shots. And much like the name suggests, it straps onto your finger and it's just a little mini shaker sound. The idea behind these finger shots is that you can play a hand drum and whatever you play on the hand drum will be doubled by the shaker. Now, if I did that with a normal shaker, if I played one, two, three, on a drum, you'd hear one, a two, a three, because most shakers play on the front swing and the back swing. The finger shots are padded on three out of four sides, so this way makes no sound. This way makes no sound, but only if it's shaken in this downward direction does it make a sound. So whatever I play on a hand drum will be doubled by these shakers works on a table too. So if I go over here on the djembe and play some kind of rhythm, it will sound like a djembe player and a shaker player playing together in unison.